from America. Greetings on Thanksgiving Day, 1944. Barrymore, men, your old collection of hash marks. And they've put me here at the head of this Thanksgiving table to dish out the entertainment victuals to you fellas overseas. By way of an appetizer, Percy Faith and the orchestra are offering a medley of tunes as American as a hot dog and a ham sandwich on rye. Music from America, North, East, South, and West. table for Thanksgiving, and we are mighty pleased this particular member timed a trip abroad so she'd be back with us today, Dinah Shaw.
my heart can glow from just the warmth of a first embrace. Everybody, this is Donna. And this being Thanksgiving, Wally Brown has turned host and invited us over to his house for Thanksgiving dinner. Well, thank heaven. It was <laughs> beginning to look like Eatless Thursday. Let's go. <laughs> well, I guess this is the house. Well, Dinah Shaw. Well, Wally Brown. Gee, Diner, I'm glad you were able to make it. What did you do, bring your own turkey? Turkey? Wally, that's Harry Von Zell. <laughs> Just a minute here. I do not look like a turkey. Or do I? <laughs> well, not a live one. Well, come on in. Come on in, make yourselves at home. Gee, you got a nice place here, Wally. You were lucky to find a house like this with a swimming pool and all. Oh, it isn't bad. All except the front walk. What's wrong with the front walk? Every time I come home at night, I bump into those gasoline pumps. I mean, you... Oh. <clears throat> oh. You see, I told you, Dinah, that wasn't the swimming pool we passed. That was the grease pit. <laughs> come on, here. Let me hang your things up. Oh. Oh, brother, look at the moths in that closet. Oh, Harry, where's your holiday spirit? After all, it's Thanksgiving for moths, too. Sure. What can a moth eat? Just a stuffed cup and a blue pleat? Oh. <laughs> well, now, look, you fellas, can't we talk later? I'm hungry. Harry, where are your manners? Don't be so impatient. Well, I'm not impatient. Then stop chasing that moth. <laughs> well, let's get started. Dinah, you, uh, you sit over here, okay. and uh, Harry, you sit over in that high chair. Oh, thank you. Wait, a high chair? Wait a minute, this thing is a trap. I won't be able to get at the food. <laughs> I think of everything, don't I? <laughs> well, how do you like it? Look at that turkey. He was raised strictly on corn. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I should say, and around here he had plenty to eat, too. Oh. <laughs> okay, kids, pass your plates. Harry, leave your teeth alone. No, I'm good. <laughs> Wrong place. Hey! Hey, butter! Look, he's got butter! Butter he's got! <laughs> Wonderful stuff! Harry! Yeah. Harry, it goes on the bread. You don't spread it all over town. <laughs> And I haven't had, uh, uh, oh, excuse me. Yeah. Wally, Wally, please, just a moment. It happens that that's my elbow you're dunking in the gravy there. <laughs> well, uh, anything with me done it these days. Tell you what I'll do. I'll give you four points for it. I'll take it. Oh, I thought so. <laughs> okay, kids, what do you have? I'll have some white meat. There you are. Harry, what part would you like? Well, you, well, what's the difference? I know what part I'll get. <laughs> oh, well, you know, this is a pretty good dinner. If I have to say so myself. And I guess I'll have to say so myself. <laughs> this is a pretty good dinner. Oh, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. Strange how it all started, isn't it? Tell us a Thanksgiving story, Wally. Oh, but that's done it. An after-dinner story, tell you. Probably he'll do card tricks, too. <laughs> you talked me into it. Well, it started a... <laughs> Way back in the... There was a boatload of pilgrims. They left from the... Uh, they landed at a... They were poor. They didn't have any, uh... They were on the rocks. There were hundreds of them. They were all trying to... But there wasn't enough room. I mean, uh... How could they all fit into one Plymouth? Hey, Wally, who was at the head of this party? Oh, this really wasn't a party, Diana. It was very serious. Everybody worked. There was one fellow who worked like a... His name was John Smith. 
The one and only John Smith, but he branched out. Well, look at the telephone book now. <laughs> Boy, that Smith guy, he really got around. He liked to travel. He was a he was a hitchhiker. He took a ride on a he went as far as he went up to the he was right in the middle of a <laughs> He was lost. <laughs> Uh, he had a check, only he couldn't get a cash. The banks were closed. I mean, they always are on Thanksgiving. Ah, that first Thanksgiving. What a crowd. Oh, wait. What a crowd. What a crowd. <laughs> more people. More people were trying to... You couldn't even park your... And in those days, they didn't have any. I mean, it's... <laughs> Every, everybody came. Even the Indians came. They had a reservation. <laughs> Thank you, Dinah Shaw. Wally Brown and Harry Von Zell. And now, gang, here's another neighbor who's dropped in on us for a free drumstick. John Charles Thomas. The chorus and I would like to sing the beautiful old Dutch traditional hymn of Thanksgiving. Or you may know it as We Gather Together to ask the Lord's blessing. Since it's Thanksgiving Day, fellas, let's look in on the typical American home. The time is just after dinner, and we find ourselves in the living room of the Lancelot Higgins household, which boasts that sweet, unforgettable character, Baby Snooks. Oh, oh. what a meal. Daddy! Snooks, please. I can just about stagger to that couch. I got a funny feeling in my tummy. Funny feeling? Yeah. You feel like you didn't get enough to eat? No, I feel like I don't want all I got. <laughs> well, just drink some water and forget about it. I can't forget about it. Why not? Because I'm hungry. You just said you had too much to eat. Now you're hungry. I'm sleepy, too. Well, go to bed. <laughs> that ain't... Ain't that sleepy. <laughs> Snooks, it's Thanksgiving. 
Let me go through one whole evening without punishing you. All right, Daddy. You got my permission. Oh, this is a night for gratefulness, for benevolence. Look, why don't you run across the street and ask how old Mrs. Hooper is? I did, Daddy, just like you told me. What did she say? She said it's none of your business how old she is. <laughs> well, then go inside and help Mommy with the dishes. Why won't you do it? Because a man's place is not in the kitchen. Is it on the couch? Now, don't be impertinent. Just run along and stay away from that icebox. If you eat any more turkey, you'll turn into a turkey. Oh, I talk like a turkey? Yes. <laughs> gobble, 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 gobble. Oh. Oh. oh, the child is right. I suppose I should go in and help the little woman with the dishes. But then why should I spoil her? I'm so clumsy, I might break one. <laughs> Thanks. Daddy! Snooks, is that your voice? Where are you? Right here. Where? All I see is this crony little turkey. That's me. <laughs> you? Good heavens, Snooks. How did you get to be a turkey? He said, if I eat any more, I'll turn into one. Oh, Snooks, you didn't go back for more turkey, did you? Did you? Didn't I? <laughs> and look at me. I'm covered with feathers. Could it be that I'm a turkey, too? Could that be? Could be. <laughs> Snooks, this is weird. Yeah, it's weird. Lancelot Higgins, a turkey. Gone, my bubbling laughter. My flashing smile. What can I say to the neighbors? I know, Daddy. What? Gobble, 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 gobble. <laughs> this is no time for jokes. I'm a turkey. And yet I... I don't feel like a turkey. How do you feel, Daddy? Foul. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, eh? Daddy. What? You may be a turkey. But you ain't changed much. Oh, why, look, Snooks. We're right in the middle of a barnyard. <laughs> if I didn't know I was wide awake, I'd think I was dreaming. Daddy, there's a duck with eyeglasses. Quiet, Snooks. It may be Frank Tours. And look at that cute little chicken. <laughs> chicken, eh? A cute little chicken. Well, greetings, my feathered friends. Where is this luscious leghorn? Frank, Frank Morgan. Well, Daddy, Mr. Morgan is a hen. Correction, my mealy mouth, little muffin. I happen to be a rooster. <laughs> Hen is the female of the species. <laughs> Bless their little heart. <laughs> well, I'm certainly glad to see you, Frank. Yeah. We are new in this barnyard. Well, I'm just visiting myself. I have a farm of my own, you know. That's funny, Daddy. He's a rooster and he has a farm. Well, uh, what's funny about it? Do you crow in the morning to wake yourself up? <laughs> Such a girl. Of course, I have a farm with cows and chickens and ducks, and I have a prize bull that weighs 10,000 pounds. 10,000 pounds? Oh, yes. Ain't that a terrible lot of bull, Mr. Morgan? <laughs> Everywhere I go, I get the same thing. Well, see you later. I have a date with a gorgeous Guernsey at one of the local watering troughs. <laughs> Elsie's her name. She's a model for Borden. <laughs> Goodbye, Frank. Don't get yourself into any hot water. Hot water? What have I got to worry about? I'm not a turkey. <laughs> Snooks. I didn't like that laugh. What made him laugh? Maybe his feathers tickle. <laughs> no. Snooks, do you know what day this is? Mm-hmm. It's Thanksgiving Day. Exactly. Do you know what that means? Sure, it means we're going to have turkey for dinner. No, we're the turkeys. They're going to have us for dinner. Who? Us. Well, what was that? It's a man with a gun, Daddy. It's Mr. Mudge. Mudge? Yeah. Why, of all people, he hates me. He'll wring my neck. Snooks, you've got to protect me. i got to protect you? Yes. I'm a great big heavy set bird. You're just a runt. Why don't you protect me? Don't 
be silly. Who'd want to eat a scrawny, sawed-off, tired-looking little turkey like you? Now listen. He's got a machine gun. That ain't a machine gun, Daddy. Oh, what is it? It's your knees knocking. Oh. <laughs> Snooks, he's coming this way. Talk to him. I'll hide behind this rock. All right, Daddy. Leave it to me. Hey, you... You haven't seen a turkey around here named Lancelot Higgins. Lancelot Higgins? Yes, he's that big flannel-mouthed bag of wind who used to live next door to me. Never heard of him. Don't give me that. I know he's around somewhere. You know what I'm going to do when I catch him? You're going to stop him. Right. And then you know what I'm going to do? Uh-huh. What? You're going to kick the stubborn out of him. Exactly. <laughs> what was that? It's somebody's knees knocking. Whose knees? Flannel mouth. Uh-huh. Run, Daddy. He's on to you. Snooks, stop splashing. Where are we? We're in a swimming pool, Daddy. Well, look over the side and see what's cooking. All right. Daddy. What? Uh, we're cooking. <laughs> I knew it. He's spoiling us alive. <laughs> You're gonna taste awful good, Higgins. Much. You can't do it. Stop him, Daddy. You can't cook us alive. It's murder. Let me out of here. Let me out of here. Let me out. Let me out. Let me out. Daddy. Oh. Daddy. Oh. 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 It's you. Who'd you think it was? <laughs> oh. Oh. Well, you are not a turkey, are you? Oh, Snooks, my little girl. Oh, you never looked more adorable. <laughs> me? Yes. Come here and let, let me kiss you. Don't you feel well, Daddy? <laughs> never felt better, Snooks. And I've just realized we have a lot to be thankful for. Here I've been sleeping on the couch while your mother's been doing the dishes. Well, I'm going right in and straighten up the kitchen with her. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow I'll clean up the woodwork with her. And I'll think of something else for Saturday. Mommy's already thought of something. Oh, she has? How do you know? Well, she just said she was going to mop up the floor with you. <laughs> oh, I'm really cool. Thank you, Fanny Bryce, Hanley Stafford, and Frank Morgan. Now, Dinah Shaw and the chorus join to bring us an Irving Berlin song inspired by the American spirit of Thanksgiving.
bottom of the five and ten cent store. Yes, I've got plenty to be thankful for. up this Thanksgiving spread with just one or two more words. It's pretty tough for any soldier or sailor to get excited about Thanksgiving Day when he's a few thousand miles away from home and the cranberry sauce. But let's all be thankful anyway that we've got a country to come home to that's rich in its natural bounties and opportunities and rich in its friendship with other nations who have proven themselves strong and helpful in hastening that day when tyranny ends. And we celebrate a real Thanksgiving. Forces Radio Service.